G'day everybody, what is going on? Today we are talking about celebrities in video games, uh, the games that we love to play so damn much. I had to push the button and make sure it was flashing, otherwise it was kind of pointless. So I was looking at the screen. Just ignore that. But yeah, we're talking about celebrity cameos in video games uh, all throughout the history of video games. Mostly the newer part, to be honest. But yeah, guys, my name is Gareth Walton. We do daily videos on this channel. We talk about absolutely everything and we unbox things as well. Uh, give me a like and subscribe and ring the bell. Otherwise, YouTube. YouTube, you're just so mean to me. Uh, you can find me on these social medias uh, at Tallboy Gareth. That's my handle, my train handle. And yeah, we're doing a top uh, 30 today, pretty much. So uh, it's actually 33, but we're going to get down that list as soon as possible and as quick as possible. Uh, let's just do it right now. Here we go. Here is the uh, top 33 uh, Hollywood actors who appear in video games. Boom. These famous, can you see me in the bottom right? There we go, we can. These famous Hollywood stars are video game stars too. Celebrity appearances in video games date way back to the 1980s when publishers made deals with big names such as Bruce Lee. Oh, that was really cool, I got it. It's still swinging. Uh, they made uh, big deals such as Bruce Lee, uh, Mike Tyson, and Michael Jackson. And uh, Mike Tyson, I'm gonna bite your ear off. Just ignore me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just please forgive me, all right? <laughs> Let's continue. Uh, yeah, so Mike Tyson as well. Uh, today, the tradition is stronger than ever with a new generation of slopes, including Keanu Reeves. Yes, we know that one. Cyberpunk 2077 uh, and Game of Thrones uh, star Kit Harrington. Seen above, there he is. Uh, here's our list of the biggest Hollywood names to appear in and voice uh, video game characters. Here we go, this is a post, uh, an article from GameSpot, by the way, you guys can see them up there. Uh, here we go, Kit Harrington in Call of Duty, Infinite Warfare. Uh, Kit, Har Kit Harrington says, appearing in Call of Duty, Infinite Warfare was a no-brainer. I'm personally a bit of a space freak, so this game being set in space is just a brilliant step for the game. Uh, what excited me about it was my role, was a villain. He added, I've never played a villain before. You guys are Game of Thrones fans? Good. Then you're a got. Gee, I take Game of Thrones. Yeah, you're, you're a got. Just like me, I'm a got. Gotcha. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Here we go. Let's continue. Uh, what is number two? Uh, speaking of villains. Oh my God. Speaking of playing villains, this guy's a villain in real life. Kevin Spacey, everybody, in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Uh, plenty of other famous Hollywood stars have appeared in Activision's Call of Duty series, including House of Cards, Kevin Spacey. He's a bad man in real life. <laughs> no one wants to play with him anymore uh, in their movies. Uh, Keanu Reeves in Cyberpunk 2077. We'll just get rid of that ad. We'll get rid of that ad too. And I think that should be good. There we go, everybody. Uh, through, though sadly, he's not a playable character. Uh, Matrix star Keanu Reeves makes an appearance in the upcoming, which is already out, of course, Cyberpunk 2077 as the iconic Johnny Silverhand because he has a silver hand. And, um, and yeah, he's cool. He's very cool. He's also the one. Matrix, Matrix, everybody. Uh, what do we got next? Oh my God, of course, Norman Reedus in Death Stranding. It's the Walking Dead star himself. He was also a... He also played a guy in the Lady Gaga music video. Um, I can't remember the song name, but he was in Lady Gaga's music video. Love interest, Lady Gaga's love interest. Uh, the Walking Dead's Norman Reedus is no stranger to uh, video games. Uh, having appeared in PT 2014, but Reedus' appearances uh, in Death Stranding took things to the next level. I never dreamed that I would uh, be wearing a motion capture suit with Velcro all over me. It was a blast. I have to admit it, he told The Hollywood Reporter. Uh, can you imagine being Norman Reedus? Jeez, man, you'd have a terrible back pain. It would be terrible stranding back pain. Oh, it's a bad joke. 
the backpack that he wears is just too big. Never mind. Continue. Here we go. Uh, Conan O'Brien. That's right. I remember this. Conan O'Brien. I love Conan O'Brien. He's such a great talk show host. Him and Jay Leno were probably my favorites back in the day. Now that Jay Leno isn't doing what he does anymore. Uh, he, Conan O'Brien, I think, is probably my favorite. Yeah, I've, I've met the guy. He's a cool guy. Conan O'Brien in Death Stranding. Norman Reedus isn't the only famous face in Death Stranding. Talk show host Conan O'Brien also makes a cameo in the game. I think one of the reasons why is because Conan has a segment on his TV show where he talks about video games and he plays the character of a novice video gamer. He's always pretending to be like not knowing what he's doing. So yeah, they added him in a game and yeah, that's really, really cool. Uh, Rami Malek in uh, Until Dawn. It's uh, Mr. Robot, isn't it? It's uh, the guy who plays Freddie Mercury in that movie. I like this guy. He's also the new, new James Bond villain, but because of the... COVID-19 pandemic, that they've still not released that film. So that's kind of sucks, but yeah. Uh, prior to his breakout performance in Mr. Robot, Rami Malek lent his voice and face to the 2015 horror game Until Dawn. Very cool. What's next? Oh, Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds in Saints Row the third. You guys ever, did you guys ever play uh, Saints Row? It was like the poor man's Grand Theft Auto. It was a cool game, but still the poor man's Grand Theft Auto. Uh, who is better equipped to handle a zombie outbreak uh, in the Saints Row the Third? Uh, the legendary Smokey and the Bandit star Burt fucking Reynolds. We dropped the F-bomb, everybody. We might drop another one in a minute. Who knows? You guys have to watch. Who's next? Oh, Terry Crews. Mr. America's Got Talent host slash huge bodybuilder slash cool dude. Uh, if you've ever wondered, wanted to be Terry Crews. And really, who hasn't? Crackdown 3 gives you that opportunity. I've never played that game. Have you? Let me know down in the comments below. Is it any good? Uh, continue. Let's continue. By the way, I'm definitely a gaming addict. I have a huge arcade machine right there and a PlayStation 1 right there. Plus, I have the PlayStation 2, 3, 4, just not the 5 because Sony, right? And those bots that won't let us bloody buy one. Thanks, bots. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. What is next? We have got Ozzy Osbourne in uh, Brutal Legend. I have not played this one. Uh, Brutal Legend's guardian of metal character is unmistakably based on Ozzy Osbourne. Hey, Sharon. Sharon. Did he say Sharon? Did he say it like that? I don't know. Sharon, give me my drugs. I need my drugs, Sharon. <sighs> Never mind. I'm a, I'm an MTV boy. Those were the days. Mm, MTV. Um, what's next? Phil Collins. I remember this one in Grand Theft Auto Vice City uh, stories. One of the most surreal celebrity uh, video game cameos belongs to the singer Phil Collins, who performed his 1981 hit in the air tonight in the Grand Theft Auto Vice City stories. Hang on, I've got the lyrics here. Where is the lyrics? Oh, here we go. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Tonight. Oh, Lord. Hang on, hang on, ready? Here we go. <laughs> what a great song. Oh, my goodness. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. I really can. Uh, let's continue. That was a great game, by the way. Vice City Stories. It was really cool. Gary Coleman. Oh, he's passed away now. Think, uh, think Phil... Thank. Thank? Thank. Think Phil Collins being in a video game is weird. Different Strokes star Gary Coleman makes an even stranger cameo in Postal 2, where he signs copies of his fictional autobiography, What I'm Talking About, at the Paradise Mall. Do you like my, my, my interpretation then? What are you talking about? Mm, he died, the poor guy. Uh, who is next? Martin Sheen in the Mass Effect trilogy. Xbox fans uh, will no doubt recognize Martin, Sheen's, uh, Martin Sheen as the elusive man in Mass Effect 2. If you kids don't know, Martin Sheen is Charlie Sheen's father and Emilio Estevez's father. Emilio Estevez is that guy who was in, uh, what's that one? 
they, they play hockey, ice hockey. Can't remember the name of it, but yeah, Emilio Estevez and Charlie Sheen are actually brothers, if you guys didn't know. Yeah. The Estevez is the actual real name of the family, I think. Yes, it is. But Emilio wanted to keep his name. Uh, Charlie and, and Martin Sheen, yeah, they changed it. There you go. Interesting fact. Um, Shaquille O'Neal. We're just on the right one, aren't we? Yes, we are. Shaquille O'Neal, everybody. Shaq. Uh, they had to... They had to make uh, the basketball courts Shaq-proof uh, back in the day because Shaq just kept dunking the ball on the rim and the glass would break. So now they've made Shaq-proof basketball hoops. So yeah, really, really cool. I'm a know-it-all apparently. Shaquille O'Neal in, in Shaq-Fu. I've not played this one. Uh, famed basketballer Shaq is no stranger to video games. He appeared in the critically revealed uh, fighting game Shaq-Fu in 1994. Jeez, that was a while ago. And the not much better Shaq Fu, a legend reborn in 2018. Who is next? Matthew Perry in Fallout New Vegas. Uh, Friends star Matthew Perry was such a huge fan of Fallout 3 that he was offered the job of voicing Benny in Fallout 3 New Vegas. Very, very cool. Uh, Kristen Bell in Assassin's Creed. I remember this one. The star of Veronica Mars is a self-proclaimed nerd who lent her voice to the Assassin's Creed franchise as Lucy. She must be really, really smart because she's Lucy and she's Black Widow. She's not Black Widow, but Lucy was in Black Widow. What's her name, Scarlett Johansson? She was really, really smart. Anyway, let's continue. Completely different women. Uh, Sean Bean in Elder Scrolls Oblivion, known as the guy who dies in everything. God, he really does. All his movies, he plays a guy who eventually dies. Sorry if, you've, if you're about to watch a movie with him in it. Chances are... Chances are... <laughs> uh, he pretty much dies in everything. Uh, the Game of Thrones star voiced Emperor Martin Septon in Elder Scrolls Oblivion. By the next Elder Scrolls installment, his character was... Yep. Dead. Uh, continue. Here we go, everybody. Uh, Billy Bob Thornton. Oh, wow. In Deadly Creatures. Billy Bob Thornton famously dated Angelina Jolie for a little while there back in the 90s, early 2000s, something like that. And they had apparently they had the weirdest relationship. They were drinking each other's blood. Maybe it was just a rumor. Maybe it's just a rumor, but that's what I've heard. Crazy, right? <laughs> um, the, the, the Sling Blade actor... Uh, has one video game credit to his name in 2000, the 2009 title Deadly Creatures, which also stars the late Dennis Hopper. Oh, wow, Dennis Hopper. He was in that Speed movie, Speed 1 with Keanu Reeves. He was the bus bomber. A uh, really cool actor, really cool actor. He had his head chopped off by the top of the train carriage in Speed 1. Remember that? Dennis Hopper. Uh, William Defoe in Beyond Two Souls. Okay, the Green Goblin. God, that was such a good character and voice. And uh, yeah, the Green Goblin in the Spider-Man movies. Defoe also voiced Norman Osborn for the company's video games. Uh, another video game gig, the uh, interactive thriller Beyond Two Souls. Wow, there we go. Elijah Wood in The Legend of Spyro. He's not only Frodo Baggins, but also a featured voice in a dozen video games, such as the character Spyro, the Legend of Spyro. I did not know. Wow. Mr. Lord of the Rings himself, the one true ring. Well, wow. it's him. Didn't know that. Uh, what do we got next? Ellen Page in Beyond Two Souls. Uh, quick information, if you didn't know, she's now a man. No joke, she turned into a man recently. I don't know how far that went, but she's changed her name to Alan, Alan Page, I think. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, let's continue. Juno and Inception actress Ellen Page joined William Defoe in Beyond Two Souls. Uh, what do we got now? John Goodman. Oh, wow, really? In Rage. The voice of everyone's favorite mon monster, uh, Sully, Sully, in Monsters, Inc. Uh, Goodman voiced Dan Hager in the video game Rage. Very cool. Well, we all know this one. If you're a video game lover, you, you, you know this one, Mark Hamill. Uh, what a legend in uh, on screen and off. Uh, Mark Hamill in Batman Arkham Asylum. 
Luke Skywalker himself became one of the most renowned voice uh, actors in Hollywood, appearing in more than 30 games. Hamill is most famous for voicing the Joker in the uh, in Batman Arkham As Asylum. Yeah, great game. I've played it. Uh, it had its flaws, but it was all right. Ice Cube in Call of Duty Black Ops. Uh, the multi-talented rapper, absolutely he is, turned actor, gave his voice to the 2010 edition of Call of Duty Black Ops as Joseph Bowen. Bowman. Uh, who, is, who is Ice Cube? N.W.A. What does N.W.A. stand for? <coughs> with attitude. It stands for <coughs> with attitude. I can't say that. I can say it, just not on YouTube right now. <laughs> Let's continue. Uh, Keith Sutherland. Yes. Keith Sutherland in Metal Gear Solid. Big Snake. Big Snake, everybody. Uh, the man behind Jack Bauer. Bauer? Bauer? My birds have been a little noisy. Sorry, guys. The man behind Jack Bauer has voiced parts in 24, the game, and uh, shush birds, and uh, the Call of Duty franchise. But his biggest game gig could be the iconic Solid Snake in Metal Gear uh, Solid 5. Wow. Yeah, really cool. Uh, Ray Liotta in Grand Theft Auto Vice City. I played the shit out of this game back in the day. Great game. Wasn't on PlayStation 2, I think. PlayStation 2, yeah. Uh, the voice of Tommy Versetti. Is that my saying it right? In Grand Theft Auto Vice City, it also just happens to be the Goodfellas star Ray Liotta. Uh, by the way, Ray Liotta, if you've ever seen the movie Hannibal, uh, <laughs> should I tell you? Spoiler alert, he gets his head cut open and he eats his own brain. No joke. Let's continue. Birdies, come on, shush now. I'll have to put a cover over their cage if they continue the noise. Sometimes they just get really, really frisky. They want some attention or whatever. All the lights are on in the studio, so they go crazy. Uh, let's continue. We're almost finished, by the way, actually. Liam Neeson and Fallout 3. Uh, Neeson has taken a liking. See what we did there? Oh, yeah. Le Le Liam Neeson has taken a liking. I will find you, and I will kill you. <laughs> Birdies, shush now. Come on, be nice. Be nice for the video. Uh, Neeson has taken a liking, see what we did there, to the video game medium as James in Fallout 3. Uh, Gary Oldman in Call of Duty Black Ops. Oldman has voiced characters in two Call of Duty games with Keith Sutherland and Ice Cube. And uh, I'm going to have to put something over the bird's cage. Hang on, hang on, guys. I'm right here and I'm putting this over the cage right now. Sorry, Rosie. Now's not the time to talk. Gary Oldman uh, in Call of Duty Black Ops. Oldman has voiced characters in two Call of Duty games with Keith Sutherland and Ice Cube and also joined Elijah Wood in three of the Spyro games. Wow, I did not know. Oh yes, this one we do know. Samuel L. Jackson in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Do you guys know what's going to come? The reference that's going to come? I'm tired of these motherfucking snakes in this motherfucking plane. Oh yeah, we dropped the F-bomb a few more times. Fuck yeah. <laughs> That'll be enough for today, maybe. Uh, yeah, Jackson's boisterous voice was perfect for the villainous role of Officer Tenpenny in the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas series. Uh, really good game. I think, one of the, I think Grand Theft Auto San Andreas might have been the first GTA game that had a, uh, had a, had a play, you know, your main character... If he fell in the water, he would not drown. I think, I think it was really cool. Uh, what's next? Seth Green in Mass Effect. Green's most famous video game role, the fragile uh, pilot Joker in the Mass Effect trilogy. Okay. Uh, Snoop Dogg. Snoop D-O-double-G. Oh yeah, you can, you can bet, I bet a thousand bucks that he was high when he did the script for this game. Oh man, goes without saying. The guys that, weed legend uh, Snoop lent his silky smooth high voice it doesn't say high I just kind of threw it in but <laughs> he's silky smooth high voice to true crime streets of LA as himself uh, Patrick Stewart in Castlevania Cas Cas Castlevania am I saying it correct I'm not too sure 
I, don't have, I haven't played this one. The narrator of the Lego universe. That's right, he is, hey. The narrator of the Lego universe verse has done more than 20 video games, including the role of Zobek of the Castlevania franchise. That's what happens when you're both Professor Charles Xavier and Captain Gene Pritchard. Uh, and uh, you have a ridiculously awesome voice. He really does. Really great voice. George Taki. I actually got a photo with this guy. Really cool dude. Really, really very smiley, happy dude to meet his fans. Uh, the iconic Mr. Zulu has voiced some, some Star Trek games, of course. But he's also the voice of Emperor Yoshi Yoshiro in Command and Conquer. Red Alert. I was more of a Warcraft 3 and Warcraft 3 The Throws and Throne player. Uh, no joke, I've probably spent about 15 years of my life playing that, them, them two games uh, on Battle.net, playing you know, around the world, pe pe playing with people all around the world. Yeah, I was a really good player at one point, really good. I, I really loved the game. Sometimes I watch some, some Warcraft videos on YouTube just to, uh, just to relax and listen to them. Yeah, it's really cool. Anyway, moving on. This is the last one, everybody. It is the last one. Christopher Walken in Ripper. Is he the hero? Or the villain, Walken is great at playing both, so it's uh, no wonder he was cast as the good guy, or is it bad guy in Ripper? Wow, guys, that's been a top 30, 33 uh, Hollywood stars in games video. Uh, my name is Gareth. We do daily videos on this channel. This is my handle. If you want to find me on any more, any of these social medias, but of course. You know, you're on this one. You're on YouTube. Uh, give me a like and subscribe and please ring the bell. Otherwise, YouTube will not let you know when I uh, post something else. Uh, I'll see you guys. Bye. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Peace out, everybody. Bye.